Alrighty guys, let's get started with the build review. So today we are reviewing a build called uh, Radiation Outburst Flak. This is a URAD Flak setup that Deadlicity sent me. So shout out to Deadlicity. We're gonna be covering his build today. We're gonna show you the skill tree and gear that uh, he mainly uses and chose to use with this build. And then we're gonna be talking about uh, my thoughts on it, how to optimize it, and what I think while playing the build. So with that being said, let's get into the video. But real quick, as you guys know, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Borderlands 3 videos. I'd really appreciate it because it helps me out so much. And uh, only do that if you enjoy the content. And yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so first up, let's go over uh, the skill trees and the gear. Let's talk about the skill trees that Deadlicity sent me. Now this is pretty much a fade away slash rack attack setup. Uh, he goes full green and full red. Uh, like I said, with a front loader on, uh, so we can take advantage of URAD anointments. And then he spent the rest of his points in the blue tree, maxing out Frenzy, sticking a point into He Bites uh, for uh, to activate Frenzy, uh, like we said. And uh, yeah, so the first thing I do want to mention with these skill trees is the anti-synergy we have with Power Inside and the Front Loader Shield. So the Front Loader Shield reserves your max health. And as you can see, I am under health gate. Well, the Power Inside says when you are at full health, the damage you get is doubled. So uh, I was talking to Deadlicity, um, and I told him that we should go down Blue Tree if we want to use URAD, because uh, then you could use it as sort of a rack slash gamma uh, hybrid build. Or if you don't want to use URAD, just take off the front loader, use something like an Ass Frozen Heart, and then you can use Power Inside uh, pretty successfully. So he told me he wanted to stick to URAD, so let's go ahead and respec and show you guys the build uh, once we respec. All right, let's respec real quick. If death. Bang. All right, what should we do? So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, this, this. We're gonna get this. We need big game, we need most dangerous game. We need Galactic Shadow, we need Megavore. Uh, all right, in Green Tree, we need Furious Attack. Overclocked. And Lick the Wounds. And now we have 26 points, so... We do know that we want this stuff. Uh, hive Mind. Psycho Head on a Stick we'll pick up. I think we should just max out Heat Bites. Stick a point into here, because why not? Then we get Yop. Then we want Shared Spirit and Pack Tactics. And we can pick that up too. All right. So this is a pretty good spec, right? And Deadlicity said he likes to use the uh, Great Horn Skag. Alrighty, so this is the setup uh, we're gonna go with for now. Uh, the setup we're gonna go with for now. Uh, like I was saying to Deadlicity, it's really nice. Like the anti-synergy with power inside with you red. Um, and we do make up some damage for it between pack tactics, giving us 21% uh, V2, I believe. Uh, someone in chat told me this was V2. And then we also get Barbaric Yop, which gives us a no. big bonus. Does that update the skill card? Yeah, which gives us a better bonus of gun damage and uh, V1 that the Great Horn Skag gives us. Uh, if you guys want to, you can use the Spider Ant Scorcher because Flak doesn't have any elemental damage in a skill tree. Uh, but if you like to use kinetic weapons, then the Great Horn Skag is going to be a little bit better for you, obviously, since it's not elemental. But um, yeah, so that's the skill trees. When it comes to the gear, you're looking for meta weapons uh, with good anointments on them. Delicity said he likes to use the Hellwalker and the Maggie and the Plague Bearer. So I got some of those equipped. I don't have a Maggie. I might get one. Okay, yeah, Pack Tactics is V1. I thought it was. Uh, when it comes to the shield, we have the front loader on. This is to get our URAD activated for the grenade. You can pretty much use whatever you want, uh, but we're going to be using action skill end uh, damage piss grenade. Um, you can use any element combination you want, really. Just try to diversify. We have cryo and shock right now. For the class mod, we're using the Bounty Hunter. Now, like I said, since we're going so deep into blue, this can be a gamma hybrid build at this point. So like if you're going into Guardian Takedown, wearing a Red Fang and using Gamma Burst is your best bet for beating those crystal phases. And then you could slap on the Bounty Hunter and use Rack Attack for bossing. Uh, and you can also hop in Fade Away. We also do have like access to Gorillas in the Mist or Not My Circus. But uh, Fade Away is not going to be as strong without Until You're Dead or Unblinking Eye. Uh, when it comes to the artifact, you do notice that I have a Snowdrift uh, Victory Rush on. Uh, now, this is because Deadlicity doesn't have any uh, DLC. Otherwise, if you do have DLC too, you definitely want to wear the Pearl when it comes to Flak. 
Uh, when you're using URAD, you always want to use front load or pearl for the most part. There are some shield shenanigans you could pull off with like an ass stopgap and a deathless. Uh, but victory rush with some good bonuses on it will get you good damage. Otherwise, like I said, definitely just use a pearl. Alrighty, with that all being said and out of the way, let's take this build to the Malawan takedown. Uh, we're going to use Rack Attack. Uh, like I said, Gamma Burst would be nice for the Guardian Crystal phases. But we're going to be testing this build in Malawan takedown first. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys over there. Alrighty, so second run through Malawan takedown, just for some fun. Just were for some fun. I was about to fight you. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a flak man, okay? Yo, have a good night, Fritzy. See you tomorrow, man. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Have a good night, dude. It's nice having you here all the time. Right, let's do that. Let's get some action skill end. Oh, I think we dominated him. <laughs> dude, I love how these guys fall out of their turrets when they get dominated. It's so funny to me. Have fun, rocket. Sky's fury. Oh, uh, yeah. So what's awesome is I totally just ran that takedown without the pearl. That would have been way more impressive with the pearl. Just saying. We would have had 90% more gun damage. Dominated? Perfect. All right, so this guy's dominated now. We can fight these guys over here in peace. Oh, speaking of fighting in peace. Let's hit him with that. Oh God, I hate these shield guys so much. I should equip a good splash weapon to deal with those guys, honestly. Cool. Alright, how about your dog versus my dog? You melee ganks. Oh. We got a dominated enemy all the way over there. Apparently, if you shoot dominated enemies with the reflex, they chain to you. Uh, you don't want endurance either. Cycles your ASE quicker. Uh, you can go with or without. It kind of depends what you're doing. Um, and we don't necessarily always need ASE active. I also just realized I do have 25% on grenade throw right now. There we go. It doesn't matter a lot. Um, I do like cycling my ASE quicker for mobbing. But I think when you're bossing with Gamma Burst, like against Wotan or Scourge, you kind of do just want the longer duration, maybe. But it's up to you. I think it's just what you prefer. Dominate the Kraken, please. Oh, well, we're not going to dominate him. We're just going to kill him. All right, good enough for me. Let's get some action skill in. Let's get some chainage. Some chains. There we go. Alright, swap over to the Maggie. Let's shoot some skulls with some good old Jacob's machinery. Best to close your eyes. They like those. I think we I think we just like randomly dominate enemies. Okay. Nice and easy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, this is what pro flat gameplay looks like. <laughs> Meanwhile, that chump is dominated. There we go. Reflux seems like a pain to farm. It can be. It's not that awful, though. I feel like it's not one of the worst M6 farms. Sandhawk and Backburn are way worse to farm, in my opinion. I feel like... Like, those hollow point chains are crazy, too. 
Like, when we kill enemies and just chain them with hollow point, like, they just die instantly. There we go. Awesome. Alright, let's get some hell walking. Yeah, like, look at that, dude. That's all hollow point. That's all hollow point. Alright, when of you guys told me I could dominate a Valkyrie? I, I, it's not feeling like I can, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't been able to yet. I keep pulling out the wrong guns. Awesome. Alright, there we go, guys. Uh, pro How long does dominance last? Because I guess that badass is dominated back there, isn't he? Let's see how long. 12 seconds. Oh, we have a dominated enemy on the map right now, actually. You're already dead. You know that, right? Rest now. Cryo! I've played too much E-Red, Zane. I just can't handle it anymore. Yeah, I don't like E-Red that much, personally. Like, Gamma Flak is the one build I will play E-Red on. I don't even like E-Red on Moe's. Does not feel good to me. Let's dominate something. There we go. Distract them. Kata Jr. also has that annoying death animation every time. It's not that bad. Okay, see that see that my reflex chains were chaining to me? That was weird. So you could technically reflex an enemy. Without another enemy around and dominance. Because it'll chain to you for some reason. Well, I guess because they become your ally, right? I feel like with Galactic Shadow, Strip them bare. it'd be nice. I feel like, I feel like Dominance has sort of an anti-synergy, where I'm killing the enemies so damn quickly that they don't have time to target each other. I feel like there's a bit of an anti-synergy there. Cause like, I'm still getting targeted most of the time. And it's cause the enemies I dominate, I just also kill really fast. Maybe I just need a, a little bit more, uh, Self-control on like who I'm targeting and fighting and whatnot. Jesus, my fight for your lifetime is nothing Distract right now. I need to like not go down for the next 10 seconds. Oh god, shield guys. Alright, so that guy's dominated. You can die instead. Cool. Hey, our Rax killed something. Go now. Nice. Alright. Let me in. Let me in! Cool. Uh, Alright, so we swapped to Gamma Burst for the Wotan fight. Because there's lots of mobs. Empathic Rage and Endurance. Uh, you can use this skill if you want to. Or if you don't want to. It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, let's go kill Wotan with a Monarch. Let's also swap to 25% on Grenade Throw. Since we won't have that action skill end anymore. So we put 25% uh, on Grenade Throw on our Grenade. What if Dominated enemies got the same buffs as pets? That would be kind of wild. Uh, no, I don't have any Amara builds on my YouTube, actually. I got nothing for you. Right, let's uh, get Gamma active. Take out Wotan quick and simply. This is with no DLC as well. Uh, Deadlicity doesn't have any DLC. You're being hella annoying. Oh, okay. 
Top half should be dominated. Yeah, I think top half's dominated. Oops. Oh, Gamma, Gamma, Gamma. I can't tell if I got it active. I did, I did, I did. It's fine. Let's just get rid of the top half real quick. The top half is gonna spam uh, damage at me. Alright. Why are you not targeting my pet? He's almost done. He's almost done. Just a little more. There we go. Hey, there we go. That was smooth and simple and only took 10 fight for your life's total. And there we go. There was the build for you guys. Deadlisted, do you like the changes I made? What do you think of them? I have no blood, so a kill I'm for a Pyro Pete's Bar Bra DLC. Uh, yeah, Lazy Data has uh, some nice Amara builds. Right, let's get this brain. I missed him with my pea grenade. Uh, I love the changes. Let's go, Deadless City. Alrighty, so that was a successful build review. Uh, last thoughts on this build. This is a pretty standard flex setup, honestly. Red tree, blue tree, you can get green tree if you want. Uh, like I said, green tree, I don't really like using with you, Red, because you don't get the full power inside. Personally, I prefer full green tree, and I don't use you, Red. I use next two magazines and action skills and splash, uh, or even consecutive hits or 390 is really good. Um, and then I like to spam frozen heart shields, but that's the gun boy flak build. Uh, so look up gun boy flak. Uh, it'll show up on my channel for level 65. Um, and yeah, I, I do enjoy playing some flak. I gotta get into some flak more. Uh, post some more flak content on the channel. Cause he did, he did used to be my second favorite vault hunter. I enjoyed hopping onto him like when Stackbot first came out and stuff like that. And when Daquan and Retour started posting the gun boy videos, that's when I like playing flak. But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.